Sounds good, doesn't it? You don't want him to stop. Anyone who ever stepped foot in downtown Cleveland probably heard that. Heard the sax man playing for the crowds. Oh, yes, you did. And the music has come to a tragic end this week. Maurice Reedus Jr. passed away. News 5 has done several stories about him over the years. So we brought Leon Bibb back from retirement once again for this Ode to the Sax Man. Sounds like a good piece of poetry, yeah. Ode to the Sax Man. You know, when I was growing up, one of the hot songs rising quickly up the charts was the Motown hit, Dancing in the Streets. The lyrics were all you need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. There'll be swinging, swaying, records playing, dancing in the street. You know, there's a Clevelander who kept his own music in the streets and kept us swinging and swaying. He passed away this week. He was nicknamed the Sax Man because he blew a mean and mellow saxophone on downtown Cleveland streets. Maurice Reedus Jr., I knew him. I also knew his father, Maurice Sr., who was also a sax man, well known in jazz circles. But this story is about Maurice Reedus Jr., who made an impact and who perhaps touched your life, although perhaps you did not know his name. Maurice Reedus Jr. died the other day at the age of 65. He was not rich with money, but he was rich with his music, which he gifted to all who walked along the Playhouse Square Theater District, especially before a play or a music performance inside one of those palatial showplaces of entertainment. Or you might find him outside the ballpark or court before Indians, Cavaliers, or Browns games. When I heard of his death, I felt a personal loss. You see, I looked for him whenever I walked downtown streets, especially just before a Cleveland Playhouse performance or a Cleveland sports team game. Maurice lived in a small apartment where his family found his body. Just as years ago he had served this country in the U.S. Army, he also served this city, giving of himself. He often stood in the chill of Cleveland's late autumn and winter scenes or the hot of the summer where heat waves bounced off the asphalt along with his musical notes which bounced melodically off them as well. Maurice was a true Cleveland personality. You know, in this age where so much is said of entertainers who charge big money for tickets to hear them play, you did not have to pay to hear Maurice, the sax man. He played for free. He would take any contribution you wanted to make as he played on the sidewalk, but it was not necessary to pay him. A few years ago, there was a documentary made about Maurice. I was interviewed about how I felt about him. I saluted him for being a treasure in this community. He was that. I salute him still. So many of us look for harmony in our own lives. So many of us chase dollars hoping we will find happiness. Maurice Reedus had a harmony in his life and a rhythm. It flowed through that sweet saxophone sound he laid out on Cleveland streets. I will miss his sweet saxophone sound on the streets. I will miss his welcoming smile. I will miss Maurice Reedus Jr., the sax man, the man who in his wonderful way brought his own harmony and his heart to Cleveland streets. Very well said, Leon, and definitely a sound that we all will miss. We if will miss it. If you ever him. go downtown, you will never, yeah. ever hear that sound again. He was excellent. Maurice. You're going to notice the absence of that. Yeah, it's yeah, like right. the silence will be, right. we say silence is yeah. deafening, so. Yeah. Maurice he served was the city. Cleveland. Yes. He was Cleveland. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Leon, and so, always good to have you. Always good to be back. Us.